what's going on guys welcome back to clash of the dark today we're checking out how to three star at town hall 10 when you don't have access to siege machines and you don't have access to high level donated troops so we're going to be going over the top strategies at town hall 10 all these attacks are drawn from the town hall 10 cup tournament where intz esports went on to win 50 thousand dollars for the team in a tournament that does not allow siege machines to be used and nobody could donate troops from anywhere but a town hall 10 in a level one clan so no high level troops were used no e drags nothing crazy let's go check it out make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also click into your settings tab hit more settings scroll all the way down to the bottom and where it says creator boost type in code eric there to help support the channel so let's go right into action all right, guys, the first attack we're looking at today is the Falcon attack. The Falcon is where we take a queen walk. We're going to walk an edge of the base there, and then they'll join into a whole bunch of Valkyries and bowlers, and they will punch right into the base. Since we don't have any wall breakers, no jumps, no earthquakes to actually enter the base here, it's very important that we have a wide funnel so that the Valkyries under a rage will attack the wall instead of walk around through the trash. If they have trash that is still standing anywhere nearby them, and they go for that instead of the wall, then you're probably going to fail this attack. You need them to actually enter the base. So to form this funnel, we're going to use a couple of wizards, bowlers, whatever you can use, maybe a baby dragon, whatever you have available and wherever is an easy funneling point to make that queen walk a certain direction wherever you want to enter the base. On the other side, as you can see there, he's using a bowler and a hog to bounce off the camp and then the hog goes in and finishes off the mortar. And now the king is going to go through and clear the trash on the outside. He's clearing the trash on the outside so that once the Valkyries enter the base there, they're going to stay in the base and they will not exit into any trash that they might get close to on the outside of the base and they will continue on towards the other inferno. So now the Valkyries come in, the bowlers come in and everything is cleared. There is nowhere for them to go but attack the wall and they can drive right in. The healers will switch onto the Valkyries and the bowlers. The queen is going to fight off the hound in the CC. And look at that. The raged healers are going to keep everything alive. He has another heal on top of that. In addition to the rages that are going off to keep those groups alive because those healers, they're not going to be able to target everything. There's a lot of damage in there. You've got two multi infernos that were hitting him. If you have single infernos, this works even better, but you got to make sure that you can have the pathing through the base there to make sure that those Valkyries will break wall to wall to wall, sometimes using the heal heroes as actual tools or the enemy heroes I mean as tools to try to carry them and direct them to the base there because if an enemy queen attacks a valkyrie then the valkyries are going to break the walls and go for her so you can use that to direct them through the base here but as you can see there no siege machine required he ripped the base apart and brought in the three star for MCS INTZ ended up winning this war and going on to the championship and winning themselves $50,000 so once again congratulations to them let's get into the next attack all right, guys, next up is the P.E.K.K.A. Smash attack. The P.E.K.K.A. Smash, very similar to the Falcon attack, how you set it up. But the big difference is instead of using Valkyries, we're going to use P.E.K.K.A.s and we're going to use a jump to get them into the base. The P.E.K.K.A.s don't have the same splash damage that the Valkyries did to rip down multiple walls at the same time. So they can only attack one wall at a time. And it's very important that you direct them through the base with jump spells. So to set it up, we're going to start with a Queen Walk. The Queen Walk is going to walk an edge of the base here. She's going to round that Inferno. So he's going to freeze up that inferno so he can get the wall break here and allow that queen to walk right into that inferno and take it down that's going to keep her healers safe and make so that she can round that corner and join up with the main group without any issues she's going to be inside that channel so this jump is going to get double duty to continue her into the base but also to get everything else to go into the base here so down at the bottom here He's got a P.E.K.K.A. and a wizard working here. They're going to collapse in the funnel. The king is joining. The bowlers are joining. And he's going to have the P.E.K.K.A.s walk the outside. Sometimes when we do this attack here, we would also have some witches join the outside and travel with the P.E.K.K.A.s. Or maybe we put the king on the outside with witches and they can travel through and clear all the trash on the outside. But look at the inferno up at the 3 o'clock area. It's going to roast anything that rounds that corner. So he only wants high hit point units to be able to round that top corner. So that's why he use Pekka's there and he's going to allow the main group to drive through the base there and they're going to stay inside of the base there because the Pekka's on the outside are clearing the trash it's forcing the other troops to continue through the base and not break out the queen took a really really long time to get through the hound and clean up all the pups that's one of the toughest cc for any ground strategy to fight 
is a hound CC because it delays the queen and makes her separate from the group and even sometimes hold on to some of the healers. Looks like he did get a little bit of a healer uh, split there. Some of the healers went with the main group. Some of the healers stuck back with the queen while she was fighting off the hound and all the pups and he's able to at least keep the main group alive long enough that he was able to get those bowlers in and take out most of the internal structures. But now the king is out of the base there. The P.E.K.K.A.s are all continuing to wrap around. They are all at pretty good health there. They have so much health they can survive for a really, really long time. And he just needs that bowler to take out the wizard tower. He gets it and that queen is still continuing. She finally has to pop her ability and she can continue up into that cannon and then try to make her way into some of those other internal structures. But time was of the essence. I don't know if you saw the timer at the start of this attack, but it was an exactly three minute attack here. He had a balloon come in to go after that bomb tower. The bomb tower needed to get access because there was no other unit that could access it other than that balloon so he sent in the balloon through the area that the healers have already traveled through because he knows that that area is already clear of black vines so that balloon will not get taken down and that was clutch to be able to bring in this three star that balloon was able to step up take out the bomb tower the bowler finished off the storage and everything else went up and took out this corner tesla at the final split second this attack came all the way down to the wire and ended up being the winning attack for INTZ against MCS. All right, guys, next up is my favorite attack, the Queen Charge Mass Baby Dragon. If you love a Queen Charge, then you will love this attack. This is where we take a entire spell arsenal and we dump it into a five healer queen charge she's gonna march all the way through the base sometimes we'll bring four earthquakes to open the base sometimes two jumps in this case he's bringing wall breakers one jump and four rages to drive this queen as far as possible once that queen is moving we're gonna start to work on baby dragons to go pick off anything outside the range of the air defenses and make so that the queen is gonna be safe and will clear out the rest of the base that she can't reach. So the queen with the baby dragons is a perfect combination because the queen, she needs all the spells she can get, but the baby dragons, they don't need any spell support. So they work together very, very well. He's gonna freeze at that single inferno as that queen approaches it. And if that was a multi inferno, then he'd be freezing it anyways to get the wall breakers through. But if he wasn't using wall breakers, he could get away with just using a jump there. And it's your call what you wanna do there. But he decided he wanted to do the wall breakers and the freeze to get through. It was a single inferno, so that was a good option. I think if it was a multi inferno, a straight up jump to enter the base there would have been the better option the queen was supposed to go to the bomb tower right here but she instead steps up to the town hall that king is clearing trash on the outside there to keep this queen inside the base but now he's in a little bit of predicament here because the queen is not passing the way that he expected her to and she's beating through the wall so she's gonna go in take out the cannon take out the queen and then she would round the corner into this air defense so he needs to make an adjustment so he decides he's going to send in his hogs he has hogs in his cc and they're going in to take out that air defense and potentially reach that Inferno, but the hogs split off a little bit there. They're hitting some spring traps. They're done. He has a baby dragon go in and try to take out the air or the inferno before the inferno roasts his healers. He's in a little bit of a problem here as the inferno is causing some serious damage, but he does get a second baby dragon in there and he's going to be able to take down that inferno. And now the queen is safe. He's going to continue dropping in baby dragons to try to take out the defenses that the queen cannot reach and also clear the trash around the top of the base and make so that he can get access to those defenses up there so that he can get that damage off of his queen and back uh, keep her safe i mean so the queen finally uses a jump to get into the last expos and the last uh air defenses it would have been used more on the clan castle pretty much right on top of the clan castle if this had gone to its original plan here but he uses it at the end that's going to give the queen access to everything else on the back side of the base there just speeding things up he has baby dragons completely surrounding the base there trying to direct target defenses wherever possible and make so that he can get those defenses that the queen can't reach so all the trash is cleared he steps up in the left tesla tons of baby dragons left over and he's absolutely crushed his base so i want to point out that all of these attacks can be done with a siege machine too but it's normally done with a stone slammer so anytime you see an attack out there that you want to try without a siege machine look for attacks that are using a stone slammer and implement them into your attacks 
All right, guys, next up is the Queen Charge Laloon. The Queen Charge Laloon done a little bit differently than the Queen Charge Mass Baby Dragon because the balloons themselves need some actual spell support. So we can't just dump everything into the Queen Charge like we did in that last attack. So this one, sometimes a little bit more difficult because you're trying to manage the Queen Charge and you're trying to manage the Laloon at the same time. So it does take a little bit of skill there and Laloon in general is a relatively difficult strategy to master. So this one takes some work, takes some practice, but they're always impressive to watch. So let's see how Break from MCS goes in and takes down Jack from INTZ. Using the King to funnel the Queen. The King is not only going to funnel the Queen there, but he's going to go in and take out a couple defenses and potentially weaken the enemy King as he uses ability and surges into that area. There is a multi-inferno where that Queen wants to punch in. She needs to go in to get the CC. She wants to get an air defense. She wants to get an inferno and she needs to get the enemy Queen down no matter what. So he goes for the wall break here. He has to first take test in a test wall breaker that's going to go test for uh, any small bombs that might be in that corner there to prevent the queen from breaking in right there he does not find any small bombs and he freezes up the inferno in the expo and that allows him to finish the wall break and now that queen has access and the king formed the other side of the funnel there the queen getting stuck on a hound here that's once again going to slow her down a lot and she's going to probably have to use another rage here to keep her through while she's getting hit by a lot of defenses the hound takes a while to work through he has the poison and a minion comes down behind to try to help clear pups to get her through a little bit quicker so she can continue on another rage comes down and now this queen can step up into the inferno she has the queen down she has the cc down everything is dealt with now we need to see where she's going to go so looks like, like she's going to step up and take out the expo she's got another expo on her and an archer tower luckily her healers are under a rage there and she will be just fine for a moment now she gets off of some damage she's down to one uh one defense hitting her at a time and she can heal through that no problem so now he can concentrate on his balloons the queen is going to wrap out of the base there he's got a couple haste here to carry him in and he has a heal that's going to get him a top top as he goes through that inferno and into multiple wizard towers the heal is very very important when you're going against multi infernos because you need to get those balloons topped off a single wizard tower is not a huge threat while the balloons are spread apart there but as soon as they start to clump up they become a big threat so when you're ending on wizard towers then the heal becomes more important but when you're starting on wizard towers you don't really need it and you can get more haste and more rages to carry through the base here so he's got that sweeper knocking him back there big time the queen could not reach over the walls you got to make sure that you know exactly what your queen's range is so that you can reach over the walls and take out the defenses that she needs to get and you also need to know that for defensive purposes when you go to build your base to make sure you're not vulnerable to these so the queen can reach three tiles past a wall and hit the next defense and that's very important because that's why she was able to reach across that channel over the inferno and hit the expo so beautiful attack we've got one more strategy to look at and then we're gonna call it a day all right guys next up we're checking out the drag bat this is not an all-inclusive list of the attacks that work without a siege machine i'm gonna release another video that includes even more so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that when it launches so we're going in here with a drag bat and when we go to do a drag bat what we're looking for is external air defenses that we can take out while forming the funnel and not pull the cc while we're doing it so the cc is pretty internal to this base here he can go in with just his king and his queen and take out two air defenses right here and form the funnel at the same time it's very important that dragons have a good funnel but we also need to reduce the damage off of them we also need to funnel the other side so as you can see there he has a couple dragons that are starting out ahead there and i'm not in love with this funnel here guys I I don't think this funnel was strong enough he sends in a hound to go in and tank that air defense but the air defense was already shooting a dragon and there's nothing to clear the trash behind those balloons that are coming in from the side and i feel like that was a mistake a lot of his dragons are going to leave the base here and not stick with the pack you want the dragons to stick together as much as possible but dragons a little bit forgiving here as they're going to be able to punch in and take out a big section of this base here he has three freezes and six bat spells to go sweep the rest of the base here here they come coming in from the side here and the bats are also going to do a little bit of tanking for the dragons we want to make sure we keep the splash damage off of the bats there because the bats will go down very very quickly to any wizard towers or multi infernos even single infernos teslas expos so we want to go and send the bats into areas that don't have a lot of those and try to go after more like archer towers and uh and air defenses obviously those are the biggest thing if we can get two air defenses with the bats then they're pretty much golden or if we can get an equivalent amount of damage taken off of the dragons that would be the same as two air defenses then we can generally make this through uh work the bats 
they don't technically need to get a ton of the base there to make it work the dragons themselves are very very powerful and they don't need a lot of spell support and so they can drive through and unlike the baby dragons they don't have to be spread out so you can clump them together and they can charge right into the core of the base there and just gut it so that's gonna be it for today make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and don't forget to go to your settings tab, click more settings, go all the way down to the bottom where it says creator boost and type in code Eric to help support the channel. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one.